it's me. Welcome, welcome. Let me just sort things out. I think the camera is a little bit low. Bear with me while I just tweak it up a bit and drop on my hip. Yeah, that's about right. Hello and welcome. I'm just finishing, you know, twas ever thus. Just finishing my prep. <sighs> that's not right. Just finishing my prep wrong, apparently. Yep, that, that's wrong. Okay, that's fine. We have another piece of card. It's only cardstock. So, how was everyone's weekend? I hope you all had a good time. Let's cut this correctly this time. I've had a fantastic time catching up with some crafting friends. Uh, we all went down to a hotel in Shepparton, uh, West London. And or west of London, I think technically, and um, had a weekend crafting, but all doing different things, which was just fantastic. Right, I think I'm a, I think I'm organised. It's a worry. I have got a cup of coffee that I do need to drink before it gets cold. So whilst you're hopping on, mm. so I'm going to be showing you the cards that I'm going to be sending out for my customers to make up. Um, so I, they always get anyone who orders with me and uses the host code or places an order of at least £150 not only gets the thank you card and thank you gift that anyone who orders from me gets they also get two card packs or card kits to make up um, and if their order is qualifying so it's over the amount for that month's gift they get the free gift as well so this is for these are the two card kits that I will be sending out. Mm. So I must just check that I am live because it all feels a bit quiet here today. Let me just check on my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube. Oh, I am here. Hel you are there. Right. Hello, Shaz. I was beginning to wonder if I had actually gone live, it wouldn't have put, I wouldn't have put it past YouTube having a little hissy fit with me. How are you, Shaz? I hope you're keeping well. We've got a, actually not a bad day today. It's supposed to rain at some point, but ha, it rained a little early on, but. Mm. So I need to do the whole advertising bit. So just so you know, I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based in the UK, working across France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands, and of course the UK. It is my job, therefore this is advertising. Um, if you're in the UK or one of those European countries and you wish to order Stamping Up products, I would be thrilled if you would order from me, or indeed get the best deal in the catalogue and join my team. And if you join my team during April, you get to order from the new catalogue, the pre-order list. It's not everything in the catalogue, but there's a really good selection of stuff to get. So always good to know. So Judith is with us. Uh, it's a bit dreary in South Devon with Shaz. Morning, Claire. Morning, Corey. So the other thing I'm going to give you a sneak peek of uh, is the Waves of the Ocean class, which I'm going to launch either tomorrow, today or tomorrow. Can't quite decide which yet. Um, but I'll give you a sneak peek of that. And if you're on my newsletter, you will have seen that I've just launched my In Colour Club for 22-24. So if you want to reserve your place on that, please let me know. There's details of that on my website and um, uh, on my Instagram links. You can go to that as well. Um, this is the stage where we're just reserving and then I'll send you out an invoice. Morning, Danny. It's Tracy, Danny and Sue. Wow, you're all watching me. Yay! They are team members. Um, They are. So Danny and Sue are Tracy's team members and Tracy is one of my team. So that's excellent. Yay. Um, So, so yes, In Colour Club has launched. I've still got some of the adhesive pouches available if you would like those. That's it. I'm going to now create. So let me flip the camera down. I will be having some coffee along the way as well, but um, I will also be getting creative. So, mm. 
my coffee's just at that point where if I don't drink it, it's going to go too cold to drink, but not cold enough to drink. Let's start by showing you the projects for the Waves of the Ocean card kit. So the idea is that you will make two of each of these cards. Um, I love the Waves of the Ocean, just saying. So there's this one with the ribbon. Um, the ribbon actually will go underneath the underneath this mat but I forgot to take the ribbon away for the weekend and then stuck the mat down without remembering that I needed to put ribbon underneath it so this is this one doing a bit of um, jigsaw puzzle with the one of the wave dies and making the most of this lovely paper and obviously the uh, the blue adhesive gems that go with it um, again using this lovely paper hello Jennifer um, and this one I've used one of the sea life dies and the diorama dies, the layering diorama. Um, so that's that one. Oh, and he's got a he's got a little gem for an eye. And then this one is opens, and I'll the idea is you'll put white on the back here. Uh, Jennifer, while I remember, I've got your email, and I will reply and send you all the stuff that you are asking for. Um, so yes, so that's that one. So that's the cards. And it will be two of each of those. And then there's this lovely box, which again makes the most of this die. Um, and I'm also going to show show it in the pinks. Um, so this is the one that I will be um, advertising and I will do the video in pinks. So that will be the card, card class. Keep your eye open for information about that. And now, I'm going to show you the cards that will be going out in the kits for my, where are we, April, March customers. So I've got things ready. It's worrying. Um, I'm going to be making two of each of the cards because um, yeah, they're kind of doubles. I'll only be sending out one kit to each person, but they are kind of doubles. And I need to, I need to acknowledge stamping with Melissa who is on Instagram uh, because I've hijacked one of her ideas um, so yes just saying so this is the bicycle die from the windmill fi windmill fields dies um, it is not in the new catalogue um, it's still available until the end of June beginning of July but then it will um, it will retire so if you like the windmill bundle I would say get it sooner rather than later hello Sherry from Ontario aha so this is my customer card kits so these are the packs that they get sent out um, where they can make up the cards so just get these bits out I should have done this before I went live really, but I I had my hair cut this morning and my hairdresser was running a little bit late and then we got nattering. Um, so uh, she comes to me, so it makes it quick. But um, as I say, we got nattering and suddenly I realised I hadn't done all of the prep that I had anticipated I was going to do. Not clever. So both... I'm going to have a, one of these on each of the cards. I will die cut the other one and then we'll worry about poking out the bits later. Oh, apparently something is going to be delivered by Amazon. Um, I will worry about that after the live. I'm guessing my husband has ordered something. Oh, so yes, my adhesive kits are still available. Um, I'm waiting for a restock of 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 stamping seal i've got masses of refills but none of the ones that come with the case i'm just waiting on those and there's a couple of you that are uh, waiting for those to come through um, so that should arrive all things being equal tomorrow um, as in this my restock should arrive tomorrow i stupidly looked in my adhesive drawer and saw masses of adhesive um, so I assumed I had lots of everything and I don't. Um, I have lots of some things and 
none of others. Right, so I'm going to leave that to fiddle about with later. And let's make our first card. These are really, these are always very simple cards. And as I say, I thank Stamping with Melissa for the idea. So two bits of the Tulip Designer Series paper. Doesn't matter which one, you just want, um, Morning Jan, you just want two. Um, and then I've got two petal pink layers and two poppy pink, poppy parade card bases but this is what I'm going to look at for the moment and all you have to do is take your two pieces and pop them in your trimmer at a jaunty angle and slice and then you get a choice so you can either make that card or that card or that card or that card or indeed I'm guessing no you can't do that so anyway you get a choice so you take a t the top of one and the bottom of the other hello Kathy another another Canadian another Ontario Canadian so let's pop these onto my mats, layers, whichever we're going to call them this week. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm going to add the adhesive to my layer rather than to the paper. It just makes it a little easier. And particularly when you've got a couple of things that you're trying to line up, I find it easier if I'm holding something that isn't sticky. I'm not going to worry that there's a gap in the middle. I mean, as in a slice in the middle. So I'm going to go with a cloud. So if I go with a cloud, then I need to have that one. Or I could do that cloud. And, and I've lost a piece. No, I haven't. No, I'm going to go this. This cloud. And... Oh, for crying out loud, you silly woman. That. That is what I think I'm looking for. So I'm going to go for that. And then I'm going to go for... No, that's the same. That. So, two cards. Hello, Lorna. <laughs> oh, bless. I'm so pleased you've got your husband well trained. So I'm just going to pop this one down and then add my tulips. And if you discover, so I've got a, it's getting a bit narrow here. What you can do is you can, you can cheat a little. So you can actually overlap a teeny amount because you're going to cover that with ribbon, which is always a good thing. So that's that one. Let's do the other one. And then I will add the ribbon. And then we're just having the bicycle really as an embellishment. So... Now, one of my followers pointed out that the big screen was a bit... Thank you, Lorna. Lorna has liked and shared this video. Thank you. Um, so one of my followers uh, sent me a message to say that the big screen tends to be less in focus than the small screen. So I have had a little tweak this morning. I'm hoping it's a bit better. Um, but yeah. Unfortunately, I can't swap the cameras over because the, the one that goes here um, has a screw fix, which I need in order to point the camera down. Um, so, yes. So this is the window pane check ribbon, which is carrying over. 
So I'm going to cut two lengths of that. But yes, if you would like to like and share, I'm always very happy if you like and share. And then I just need Seal Plus, where the ribbon is going to go. And because it's an angle, I'm putting a reasonable amount. And then like that. Oh, and I almost caught it on both. Let's do the same for this one, wrong one, want this one. So we need to go there and we need to go there. And this is why I said you don't need to worry too much that this is um, hasn't got any adhesive underneath it because we're covering it with ribbon. Now the tulip one obviously has an an up and a down. Uh, this one you can actually do either way up because it's clouds and a pattern really. There we go so that's those two. Bring in my card bases which are Poppy Parade. Bring both of those in and obviously if you're one of my customers getting these kits you will get a piece of basic white to go on the inside. <laughs> I'm shedding hair um, because I've just had my hair cut. So, oh, yeah. See, logic tells me that the sky ought to be at the top, so we'll go for sky at the top. And then some liquid adhesive. Before I do that, I'm just going to trap my ribbon with more Seal Plus because then I know it's going to be sticking everywhere it possibly could. So clouds at the top. one more seal plus so who's excited for the new catalogue I am although we always seem to end up not having very long with the new catalogue because no sooner have we got a new catalogue a new annual catalogue and we end up with another mini um, so I'm always a little sad when that happens Right, so this has to have the tulips at the bottom because otherwise they'll be growing down. Uh, that goes there. So no one likes the new catalogue. I know there's a delay. I'll give you a bit longer. I'm just gonna have another soft bit of coffee. Right. So I need a piece of scrap paper. I right, am going to put a sentiment on. Um, it's a sentiment from Celebrating You, which is carrying over to the new annual. And I'm using uh, Just For You. But obviously you can use whatever. You got your pre-order today, yay, or oh, yesterday. Claire is excited too. It's epic. I mean, it's stunning. Uh, I'm going to stick with... Actually, no, I'm going to go evening evergreen to tie in with the ribbon a bit. Hello, Nora. So that was a cut, as in manually cut edge. Oh, so was that apparently. Maybe that wasn't a cut edge. No, that's a straight edge. Right, so I'm just going to stamp down in the... Yeah, it's almost straight. I'm going to just stamp down in the corner there. Currently awaiting your pre-order. Arriving this morning. Yes! 
oh, I over inked my stamp. I will bring it up and show you in a moment. Um, it's not a problem because I was going to trim it down anyway. So let me just find, can you just, it's a bit fuzzy, just see that I over inked. So I've caught the edge of my stamp, but it is fine because I am going to, I was going to trim it down anyway. So all is good. I could actually have just used a little cut off cut of Whisper White, but not Whisper White, it's basic white. We don't have Whisper White anymore. So I'm just going to trim there, which nicely takes off the overstamped bit. And then I can, I'm just going to cut that down by, actually no, I'll be, I'll be good, I'll use the trimmer. I'll use the trimmer. Uh, so I'll include a small piece of basic white. It'll be a bigger small piece than that, obviously. Um, and I'm then going to stamp it again for my second card. So I don't know why I've put the stamp away. Sad to see some of your favourite retiring, but excited for some lovely new things. I know there are lots of lovely new things. I mean, I'm a little surprised that we're getting rid of a... Um, a lighthouse and we're getting a new lighthouse that did surprise me just a little bit but um, yeah go figure hello Patty who knows a Karen right so that's that one Pop that under my light then I'm less likely to put my sleeve of my jumper in it I will cut that one down by hand there we go right so my plan is that we're going to have the sentiment and the bicycle I'm going to put the bicycle there actually because that's a lighter background uh, got edge pieces to use my scissors had had their lids on because I was travelling with them. I always put the lids on when I'm travelling. Even though they were in a box in the back of my car. Ah, so Corrie is actually Karen. Oh, okay. That confuses me. Right, so we'll have just for you and this I'm actually just going to stick down um, now what you could do is um, put adhesive sheet on the back before you die cut it um, obviously I haven't it is quite a fine die cut and I do find that that can sometimes putting the adhesive on the back can sometimes make it difficult to die cut Although it does, of course, make it easier to add here. But you don't need much adhesive. I always say anywhere that could catch. So the handlebars, the pedal. Um, but other than that, you really don't need much. And then pop that down. There. So that's our first one. Let me just finish the second one and then we will change to the Cranes of Fortune. Love the paper! Really love the Cranes of Fortune paper, which of course because it's paper isn't carrying over to the new catalogue any more than these stamp set and dies are. Uh, but they will be around until the end of June, beginning of July. There will be a last chance list for the mini at some point soon. I'm guessing probably June. Um, I should know, but I can't remember. But I would guess sometime in June. Possibly late May. Right. So... 
so I'm also I should hopefully get my catalogues out before Easter um, I've ordered some postcards to go in with them because I am hosting an afternoon tea launch on Zoom um, which will be have make and take packs it will have an afternoon tea in a box it will have all sorts of exciting things um, it will cost 25 pounds you've got the cranes but not used it yet tut tut Shaz she says who's only used hers once um, this will be their second outing um, so yes so it's 25 pounds it's UK address but um, it includes a discount voucher for buying in May um, and the discount voucher is £10 um, and that goes to all my supporting customers so yeah another good reason to be one of my supporting customers um, and what I may do haven't decided yet is open the zoom up for other people but not with all the goodies um, haven't quite decided that yet I think it will depend to a degree on the take up of the afternoon tea option didn't I cut this particularly well in fact I think I'm going to leave this rather than have you watch me take all those bits out I will leave that for the moment so I'll finish this card off for my website and we will move on to the second card which uses the good fortune dies and paper and somewhere I've got the paper there we go and I'm going to do something similar but different with this <laughs> ah I remember you now yes so two different papers both of them have got gold on the back um, and quite a busy pattern on the front I'm going to do the same sort of thing as um, as the previous card but slightly different if you see what I mean um, but I do need to do some die cutting and sometimes I think I should die cut before I go live and sometimes I think I shouldn't um, and the reason is obviously it takes time but I do like the idea of people being able to see me do stuff um, because I think that's important um, so that people can see you know I don't always get it right first time for example the bicycle which is going to need quite a fiddle right so mini my little baby and my plates oh which are down there haven't put them back let's pop that a little further up so I've got my gold foil and this is soft succulent shimmer vellum which is not carrying over So I'm going to go there and back. Hello, Karen. So that's our soft succulent. And I will need to do a second lot of die cutting. But again, we'll see what the time is as to whether or not we do that or whether I just finish them off once I have finished the live depends on how long everything else takes so I need my other bin this is my non recycling bin and I've buried my take your pick there it is 
so I just need to pop that out. You can use the die brush. I'm a little reticent to on foil because it can um, it can damage the foil because obviously a stiff brush on foil mm, not the best idea. Again, you can use sticky sheet on this, but if you're using sticky sheet on foil, it can end up with some of the sticky being on the foil, which will make it look less shiny. And obviously that. Now at this point, I would get out my dye brush just to get all those little bits that are left in out. And it's on the end of my other take your pick tool. I have two take your pick tools so that I can have one set up with the, emboss uh, the um, ball end and the um, brush and one with all the other bits. There we go. Right, let's not throw that quite so far away. So I do actually know where it is when I need it again. Okay, so trimmer time. I put that in the wrong bin. There we go. Right, so this time I'm just going to take this, make sure they're both the right way up, and they are, um, and I'm going to just slice a bit off the bottom, but a straight line. Hello, Jian from Oregon. Your favourite DSP in the mini catalogue and the dyes are beautiful, especially the ginkgo leaf. Absolutely. Jin ginkgo? Ginkgo leaf. Hello, Joanne. So, again, two bits sliced. Now you can mix and match these. So you can just take one piece and turn it over and have the piece, you know, so that's the same. Or you can, you know, you can do whatever you want. So you see that would be quite nice with the little bit. Or you could even go up here with it if you wanted. You could use that piece because it's a straight cut. You can, you've got a bit more flexibility. Um, so I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go there. So I've got crane and plant. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Crane and plant. And again, I'm just going to take my seal and go around the edge. Hello, Bernadette. I you I'm I'm gather from Lorna that you are loving stamping up. I'm absolutely thrilled. I love I mean I've been crafting for years, but the thing that really sold stamping up to me is the colour coordination. It is just jaw dropping. Um you know Calypso Coral and Calypso Coral two colours, uh, it's a colour that is not easy to match um, so the mere fact that it's easy to match is just wonderful so there we go, so that's that one and again we'll be using some ribbon to cover that join and the ribbon I'm going to use is the soft succulent satin ribbon which I think is carrying over um, and it's gorgeous. May not be. I can't remember. Um, but it's quite a nice wide ribbon. So it gives you quite a lot of flexibility for where you end up with your divide. And Bernadette, you can always watch back. So this will be on YouTube until either YouTube decide it's too boring. They won't. Um, they leave everything up. Or, um, or I for some reason decide I'm deleting it, which I won't. So you can always watch it back. I think there's a bit of a delay between the finish of the live and it being available to replay. Um, but you can always watch it back. Oh, and which reminds me, if for any of what you who are watching on replay, if you've got any questions or want to leave any comments, you can do that below the description bar. So obviously you can't you can't chat with me in inverted commas, but you can still interact. And I think I'm pretty much up to date with replying to all the comments. So I'm going to bring this quite a bit up because this if I put it down there, 
that would be that wouldn't leave enough of the pattern so I'm bringing it up a wee bit it's almost at the top of that bottom piece of paper almost but not quite but it covers that join nicely and then I'll do the same sort of idea on this one. Oh, wrong one. Mm. And then... Hello, B. So Bernadette was the first UK new demo in April. I have it on good authority. Which is lovely. There we go. That's crooked. <laughs> Take it off again. Oh, what a lovely idea, Sherry. That's super. Yeah, because then you can have everything ready. Um, so I always link my videos to my blog posts, to my website. Um, it's I, it's normally a day or possibly two. Today it will be posted today because I forgot to post Top Tip Tuesday again. I'll say it before anybody else does. Um, and... Um, the dimensions and some other photos will be on my website so you can always go and have a look there and then get a bit more idea of what you're doing from the pictures and the dimensions which I include North America in those dimensions um, so this is soft succulent card so let me do the same again and I do know I've still got my die cuts to sort out so in case my ribbon in case my ribbon I should say and do remember if you're enjoying what you're seeing or the general banter um, liking is always wonderful really it actually does help um, the YouTube algorithm likes interaction uh, on their video on videos that they then promote so the more interaction there is on a video the more likelihood there is that they're going to promote it to other people um, so if you are enjoying it and you think other people would enjoy it then liking sharing commenting chatting these are all good things and make the algorithm very happy. And if the algorithm's happy, I'm happy. I quite often get recommended videos coming up and they're quite often mine. Um, right, so I'm going to put that there and I'm going to have a sentiment and I'm going to have that possibly somewhere. So I'm using one of the sentiments from the stamp set and I'm using much luck and good fortune. Um, this is the stamp set. So we've got sending a thousand well wishes on your special day, wishing a lifetime of happiness and a world full of love and much luck and good fortune. And I'm going to go, ooh, can't decide what colours are in the paper. Black, Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, Evergreen, Evening Evergreen, Smoky Slate and Soft Succulent. I'm going to go Evening Evergreen purely so that my my list of um, product on my website doesn't look too long. <coughs> Just saying. Right. Right, I know that's a straight edge because I've got the bit that I over inked last time. So I'm going to use a punch. I think we, I, I know which punch I'm going to use and it goes in from the side right that's fine I just wanted to make sure I was in the right space 
Now obviously it doesn't matter quite so much if it's not straight because I'm going to punch it out. And I'll do it twice so that I've got one for the other card as well. And I might actually do one with the gold and one with the soft succulent shimmer, but obviously I will send both options. So if you are a customer that will be getting this, um, you'll get one card's worth, but you'll get both options. Now, if you're using this punch, do remember that there's going to be a hole and a slice, so don't put anything that matters in the way. Oh, and if you like tag toppers, um, if any are still available from the annual catalogue, you want to get them now if you don't already have them, because we don't have a tag topper in the new catalogue. Just saying. Right, so much luck and good fortune. I think it's going to go there with this then growing out of the top. Yes. Right. OK, so I need edge pieces for that. This, this size edge piece. So. And the reason I'm doing edge pieces is because I don't like dimensional over ribbon. Hello, Carol. Gosh, lots of hearts. Don't worry, it doesn't matter if you're late. Everyone has a life. It's lovely to see you, but... So yes, I don't, I'm not a great fan of having dimensional over ribbon. Um, I don't mind a little bit, but I wouldn't put dimensionals down the middle of this die cut because it would then sit on the ribbon and bounce up and down. So I like a little bit of the dimensional adhesive hitting the, um, the paper behind. And I am actually going to put my gold on before I put this on. So grab my adhesive and again it doesn't need a huge amount just need a few you know there's some nice big areas that you can attach I'm not worried about the bottom I would normally if I if it was sticking on its own I would put adhesive down here but because it's going under the ribbon really not a issue oh thank you Shaz Hello, Barbara. So that goes down and press like that. And then we can come in with much luck and good fortune. Oh, and I've just had a thought because I know I've got a spare pack of these because they are retiring. Just had a thought. Are they in here? Please be in here. Yeah. Okay. Not. But I do have a pack. So I can break open a pack. Oh, come on. Please go. Please go back together. Some pearls trying to escape. Gilded gems, because we've got gold on there. So let's let's go for some more gold, eh? This one's got this one's got a, a gem that's trying to escape. So let's let's release it. So I'm thinking I will go there and. There. Okay, just a little bit off the edge of the card. And let's take a big one and go up the top there. So it's in that nice little triangle. So that's that one. So let's finish the other one using this soft succulent um, vellum. 
So we've got our much luck and good fortune again. Let me bring the finished one in so you've got some chance of seeing it. So that's the finished one. And then this one. So this I'm going to pop in here again. So underneath my whatnot. Um, and I'm going to pop some adhesive on the back because when it dries, it will be less noticeable, particularly because this is shimmer vellum. And this time I will do the stalk. Um, because there's not going to be so much adhesive elsewhere. So just some little bits of adhesive. Pop that down there. Hold it in place for a little while. Pop the lid back on. I'll be pushing it down again in a moment. It's quite, if it doesn't stick at first, I tend to leave it for a short while and then when it's beginning to dry, it, um, it becomes much easier to stick it down. So, like that. So more of our gilded gems. And then we'll be basically done. So I'm gonna have a little one up here fact I might pop it there so it's slightly on the um, vellum because that way it will help stick the vellum down and that's that one done so let me grab the finished one of the other one so here we go. Let me make sure that I'm in camera with them all. Yep, yep, yep. In fact, I can push those two up a little bit. That's it. So those are our three cards. Oh, thank you, Bernadette. Still learning and YouTube and stamping up are very new. Ah, oh. it's a bit of a learning curve of straight up, I think, sometimes. So we've got our two crane ones and the, fin the completely finished of the others. And this is the one that I will then finish off camera and post um, on my website. So as I say, thanks to Stamp with Melissa. I'm sure it's Stamp with Melissa on Instagram. Um, she does some really fun stuff. So let me just check. I'm sure it is. Thank you, Bernadette. Thank you, Sherry. They're, I mean, I always do simple um, cards for my thank you packs um, because I'm sure it's Melissa. Yes, Stamp with Melissa. Uh, she's in the States um, and she, ha she does some really nice stuff. Um, I do do stuff that isn't on my website or YouTube on Instagram. So do do find me on Instagram. You can find the link to that in um, on my website. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get to see even more bits and pieces. And I do some kind of fun reels um, that are just stupid. Because um, why not, I think is the word I'm thinking. So let me, thank you, Nora. Let me flip the camera up so I can see you properly. There we go. So thank you very much indeed. I hope you found that fun. Um, it's amazing what you can do with just a piece of designer series paper, really. Um, nothing complicated. I know I've got some die cuts, cuts in there, but you could, if you've got punches, like um, foliage punches, you could use those if you don't die cut. Um, but yeah, so just a bit of fun. Um, thank you very much indeed for being with me this morning. Thumbs up is always good. Uh, sharing is always wonderful. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave those, particularly if you're um, watching on the replay, leave those below. 
and um, thank you Jan um, and I will get back to you so thank you very much indeed don't worry Helen I will be available to watch on replay very soon um, so please don't worry uh, I'll be back again on Thursday afternoon three o'clock UK time um, then it's the Easter weekend obviously but I'll be back then on Tuesday next week because uh, we will no longer be having the Easter bank holiday we'll be out of it by then um, and in the lead up to the launch of the new catalogue I'm going to do more frequent videos they will be recorded but I will be doing some more frequent ones, frequent, bleh, frequent ones and I may do some more lives just dropping in every now and again so keep your eyes peeled if you want to catch those do remember to subscribe and you can do that by clicking the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner so thank you very much indeed thank you Jan thank you Carol thank you Karen um, and I will see you again hopefully on Thursday if not take care look after yourselves and have a good week bye